Hey guys, this is the real Spartan 9001 here for episode 15. And this is the part where I say, oh, I just got a failed recording. Need a hydro pack upgrade to swim through those triremes and, and that's where I need the hydro pack, but I'm not going to get it because I don't need it. That's an optional thing over there. Uh, this is where I would say, oh, I got a failed recording, which is why I'm doing this again. Not exactly. I actually got my microphone to work. Yes, my microphone is working. Except... The audio sounds better this way. I'll need the Gadgetron everything to get through this planet. You don't say. So, yeah. How many times I say so yeah in this playthrough? Good. The point is that it, the audio sounds better when using my laptop's built in speaker. So I scrapped the recording and I'm redoing this section now. Also because the commentary I gave wasn't really that good. So, yeah. Uh, what's in the news today? I don't really care. Um, I need something to talk about. Maybe I should call up someone on Skype and ask for a conversation thing. Maybe I shouldn't. Okay, so yeah, I'm just starting to get into the uh, section of a blank space in my videos. I need something to talk about. Oh yeah, I'll talk about the fact that I was planning not recording today. However, like, I'll tell you a little story. Okay, today I woke up at 7 a.m., which is actually pretty early for me because, you know, stuff going on in my life. And I'm taking a lot more damage than I took in that other recording. Probably because Ratchet can't shoot straight. Uh, I know it's my fault, but still. Uh, so yeah, I woke up at 7 a.m. Uh, the reason I woke up at 7 a.m. was because I was, like, practically freezing to death. It, it, was, it, it was incredibly cold this morning. So, I could not sleep because my nose was practically frozen over. So, I got up and then I went back to sleep. And then I woke up about one hour ago. Which. Like, damn it, I got hit by that same enemy in the last recording as well. Uh, so, yeah. The time I'm recording this is 3.06 pm right now. And, uh, cutscene, but I can't use my headset because I'm not using it. Hooray! Hmm, was it Pi over infinity? Hey, you need help fixing that thing? Actually, I'm trying to destroy it. Why? I was contracted to re-engineer me and Largen machine to create huge, heavily armed mechs. So that's where those mechs came from. Precisely. Had I known Drek was behind this, I never would have done it. Is there anything we can do? Well, if you'll volunteer to be enlarged, you may be able to stop those mechs long enough for me to sabotage this machine. And then you will change me back? Uh, I've never tried that, but in theory, yes. In theory. In theory, communism works. In theory. No one listens to you if you say in theory. So, giant clank time, and I can use this. Shockwave attack to kill every enemy on the ground. And the spirit bomb to kill practically everything else. Also, Giant Clank has giant rocket launchers that he did not have on him when he was small, so... Yeah. I, I call BS on that. Also, the rockets are pretty much useless. I mean, you can just punch the enemies. It makes them jump around for some reason, though. I guess that's mildly entertaining. Also, there is a lot of mechs, and you also require to kill the helicopters as well, otherwise you don't win the challenge. I can't really make any commentary on this because this has nothing to do with the minerals right in the slightest. 
Minerals run now includes not using giant clanks and machine gun. No, it doesn't. I actually didn't use them in the other recording, so I just I just punched. Why are these tiny helicopters even trying to attack giant clank? He's well oh, I must be able to just stay in the the machine and we'll see what happens. Nice to have you back. I guess. I recalibrated the controls to allow only your specific circuit pattern. Convenient. Ah, perfect. I don't know how to thank you two. Maybe this will have some advertisements. New, new, new! From Gadgetron, the makers of weapons and other fine products, comes the I only Hollow had one guys. of those items. With the Hollow Guys, you can fool robots into thinking you're one of them! Match your wits against other robots! Work on robotic assembly lines! Attend robot parties! The Hollow Guys! Available only at Gadgetron headquarters for a limited time! Not to be used for illegal purposes, we're only in sanctioned areas. You will not actually become a robot. If I can get that thing, I'll be able to get past those robot guards. Robots are not so easily fooled. Ah, what's that? What? Uh-huh. Yeah, this is a plot hole in the game, how if you do that, you don't even look like one of them proper robot guards. And, like, when they saw Clank, who was a, uh, supposed failed version of a... Why are there bolts over there? Yeah, uh, Clank was a supposed failed version of the uh, that guard robot. Uh, they tried to kill him, I guess. So, uh, holes, holes. So, uh, yeah, should I end this episode here? It's only six minutes. You know what? I'm gonna do half of this planet because this planet's gonna be quite lengthy. Oh yeah, cutscene. This is starting to become annoying. I'm not sure why I bother with you incompetent idiots. Alright, I'll try this one more time. You are my most elite troops. I'm sending you down to the planet's surface to destroy those troublemakers. Now go! Oh, and if you have to destroy Gadgetron to get rid of them, so be. So, you're sending ninjas with guns. I don't think that really works because, you know, if a ninja shoots the gun, then they're... You, you discover them. The gun flashes... The flash of the gun and the sound of the gun will give them away. Bad idea there, Drek. Shrek is Drek. So, as soon as you start this plant, you want to equip the Visibomb gun. And fire it. Reason why? You can destroy this ship and all the three soldiers coming out of it in one hit. Which is mucho convenient. Font bomb glove and visible bomb gun. Also, the return of the annoying enemies from a uh, planet Gasper. They're not really that much of a threat now. Also, using the wrench throw to gather bolts. I don't know why throwing your wrench attracts bolts. These guys look bigger in the cutscene. Hmm, going in melee might have been a bad idea. <laughs> And checkpoint, I think. Also, if you have the decoy glove, you can clip through this wall of lasers. Hang on, let me just take out these guys from afar. Because, you know, attacking point blank range, not recommended. Also, making good use of the Visible Splash damage. Oh, god damn it, he went too far away. I thought I got them both. I really did. Maybe there was a third one. I don't know. Die. 
die. And now for a gauntlet. Bunch of spy robots with the uh, bomb gloves. Which are really not that hard to kill. They'll actually most likely kill themselves with those things. Also, I think that sound effect was made by someone strumming a guitar off key. I'm not saying it's a bad sound effect, but it's just out of place. Yeah, there's just really nothing to talk about on those segments. Oh, I guess I could have possibly gone and uh, shot down that ship if I was accurate enough. Duck and cover. God damn it, this delay is making it so that I can't cover properly. I can't take cover properly, is the correct use of the wording. Words, I. I speak them English very good, yes? I fail them English. No, I did not. I fail them level. At least I don't have to backtrack that far. Nah, I won't bother cutting this out. Do I, even, do I have to do this again? Yes, I do. Also, uh, every time I jump cut, it means that the uh, audio gets off sync a bit because I'm not perfect at editing. So I prefer to cut as little as possible to, you know, keep the audio quality really good. Even though, of course, you can't tell how good the audio is because my voice is absolute shite. If only I had the voice of someone else. Uh, now let's try this. <laughs> there we go. Perfectly executed. Also, time to go into another building. How? We have to shoot this with the blaster. Except I don't have the blaster, so I'm using the bomb glove. That was not a good idea. Yeah, I should just use my bomb glove. I should know when to quit. Actually, just use my weapons. Game known for its many, many weapons uses mostly the wrench. Also, one random steel box there. And a ton of enemies with wallopers, which are very, very easy to kill. Also, if you want first person view mode here, uh, it doesn't change. You can't snipe the enemies or anything. I'll probably do this room and then cut the episode. There's that guitar sound again. Also, these very same enemies are reused in, uh, Ratchet and Clank 3, and they have the exact same weapons. Well, I wouldn't say exact same weapons. They have the same weapons, but they work differently. The Walloper ones are exactly the same, though. There's still one type of enemy that we haven't seen of these guys. Is this a checkpoint? Damn it. The tiny enemies distracted me. Hey, at least I got them. This game actually does have enough checkpoints for you. Except, uh, you know, this is harder for me. I shall now bring up the delay in every single sentence I say, because every time I say it, it means you the, that you believe me more. Except it doesn't. And, is this a checkpoint? Vendors usually mean checkpoints. Seems like...
happens it is not wonderful okay this is gonna be difficult actually no no it's not oh help HP over here and hit button with overly priced weapon and go on to grind rail conveniently and camera angle spazzes out these enemies just die the weirdest way I think this is a good place to stop the episode for now because you know it's gonna be too long for one episode uh, see you guys when I continue this planet in the next episode Bye-bye.